I think my interest in wanting to do this show goes back to the fact that over the years I've spent a lot of time in artist studios and um, I've, in being in studios, enjoyed not only looking at the works of art which they've been made, but sort of looking around and seeing the conditions under which they were working, um, you know, what materials they were using, what they had hanging on their walls and so on. And um, um, this certainly led me to be interested in paintings of this subject and wondering, you know, to what extent were these paintings an accurate record of these studios, to what extent were they staged, and then thinking about what would it be to bring together a cogent group of these, and it ended up from being from the earliest work, being in the middle of the 16th century, and then really a sort of jump to the 18th and 19th, until in the period of post-war US art, they really narrow down in the most inventive pictures, at least, to studio walls and uh, the artist's materials. And, and I noticed one of the differences between the two shows is this show is more or less chronological, whereas the photograph show is not chronological at all. And the, the, the biggest difference, I think, is that the uh, painting in the studio is the default condition for painting, whereas the default condition for photography is you go out into the world and you take your picture there and then you bring it back to the dark room or if you want to call it a studio and you, you process it there. So there isn't the comparable tradition of images of photographer studios, although there are a few in the exhibition. The largest and I think most interesting section of the, of the photographs exhibition is about the studio as a place for presenting the body, presenting an identity, a persona, or for actually exploring and describing the body. An argument has been made that um, the studio first really emerged in the Renaissance um, simultaneous with the um, practice of life drawing. Yeah. You know, that um, you know, once um, art shifted to be the record of immediate experience and initially experience of the figure, um, and therefore figures had to be initially drawn and painted, um, there needed to be a space where this activity could take place. The old uh, studio tradition, the figure in the studio, uh, photography adopted right away. In the 60s and 70s, studio-based conceptual art comes along where you have mini performances within the studio. It ends up feeling exactly the same as the, as the deployment of the bodies in the, in the old academic tradition. One of the sections of the, of the photographs exhibition is uh, about artists photographing their own studios. The two wonderful Chardin paintings, well, particularly one of those Chardin paintings, um, it's a kind of wonderful thing when you realize that the painting you're looking at was made with the materials that you're looking at. You know, and that the, the whole thing is all wound up in itself.